The Migros Museum is in an exile situation which made this show possible. We uh, had to close for a renovation for one and a half years and uh, we had the possibility to, uh, to move to different locations which means we have one little space in Zurich. We sent the collection abroad and uh, Martin Bloom, the farmer and artist from this place here, offered me his country to do projects. This place here is well known for it. Uh, Martin Bloom already does work or does different projects on this land since two years. And uh, I got the full 2011 to do uh, this show. So the show will be in two parts. The first part open today, 1st of May, and the second is on uh, July 10th. Uh, the concept of it, of course, has to deal with gardens. Uh, I took my reference from the Giardino di Bomazzo in uh, Viterbo, uh, which is close to Rome, 100 kilometers north. It's a Renaissance garden, a very unusual Renaissance garden, which was built by a prince, Orsini, in the 1600s. And it's uh, full of mythical uh, animals and uh, I would say almost persons and full of riddles and myths and it's very much overgrown by moss and uh, yeah, it's, it's what I say, it's a mythical place. And since I saw this place, I always had the dream of creating once a big garden. Of course, this is impossible because you, if you look at this garden, it's done in the 16th century and he was, he was actually, it was a lifelong project and it's old now. So I, I thought I need to start small. And I started with a garden of forking paths, which is taking reference from one side to the literature of Borges and on the other hand, of course, also to the structure of Bomarzo. And uh, here you see five artists today. It's uh, Lise Croft from LA with a little folly structure. And uh, you see Pablo Bronstein also with a folly structure. It's a little opera house and you can, you have the advantage and the luxury to listen to a four minutes aria of Scarlatti. Only five people are allowed, but once at a time. And you can see uh, Fabian Marti, his little uh, drug house, I would say. It's actually a greenhouse with a lot of plants uh, used by shamans to, uh, let's say, to widen up your mind. And you see Peter Rekli, the snowman. And there's uh, Tiago Roca Pita from Brazil, who made a wonderful sailing ship into the landscape and if you if you watch well you will see how the landscape becomes the sea so he's inverting things Ah, 